Hi, I'm Dr. Sapna Raina. I'm working as a senior consultant in the department of OBG Narana Health City. Today we'll be discussing about placenta and its problems. If you are pregnant, you might wonder what the placenta does and why it is important to speak about placenta. See, placenta is a temporary organ that forms during pregnancy and it grows along with the baby. It actually acts like a conduit between the mother and the baby. It transfers all the necessary nutrition and oxygen to the baby and takes away all the waste products away from the baby. Not only that, it actually safeguards our baby against various viruses, bacteria and toxins. It also releases certain hormones which are really important in the sustenance of a healthy pregnancy. So now that we know that it is really crucial to have a healthy placenta to have a healthy pregnancy. But what if there is a disruption in the normal functioning of the placenta? Say for example the location of the placenta. Usually the placenta gets located or implanted in the upper half of the uterus. But few patients may have placenta implanted in the lower half of the uterus or just above the opening of the uterus which we call as os. And this condition is known as placenta previa. This is the reason why a lady who is pregnant can have bleeding varying from spotting to a heavy bleed. This can be a problematic condition both for the baby as well as the mother. Another important cause of bleeding during pregnancy is abruptio placentae. This is the premature separation of placenta from the inner lining of the uterus. Usually placenta gets separated and expelled out after the delivery of the baby. But if this is happening before the delivery of the baby, this cut down the oxygen supply to the baby and it is kind of an emergency situation wherein we have to deliver the baby before time and on an emergency basis. Another important condition is placental insufficiency where the functioning of the placenta becomes inefficient. So the vital oxygen as well as nutrition supply to the baby becomes hampered. Now this can happen in patients who are having uncontrolled diabetes, high blood pressures, who are in the habit of smoking or drug abuse, certain bleeding diathesis and certain conditions like previous uh, you know, uterine surgeries. All these things can lead to unhealthy placenta and inefficient placenta. So what do we do? Now we know that it's empirical to have a healthy placenta, to have a healthy baby and a healthy pregnancy. Always have a regular antenatal visits with your obstetrician. Eat healthy diet. Going ahead with the uh, ultrasounds will tell us about the health of your placenta. Quit smoking if you are in a habit. Don't go for a substance abuse. I think all these things will help you in having a healthy placenta and a healthy baby. Thank you.